Alright, what's up guys? For today's video, I am going to be showing you the process that I am taking to turn my bike from this piece of crap to something that looks like that. Alright, so basically I had picked out a couple pieces of art from the internet and this is one of them, so I'm trying to make uh, the bike look like this character which is Sien from Show by Rock and I needed a color scheme so I looked back at a couple of older bikes from Suzuki and one color scheme did pop out quite prominently to me and it's this one uh, a yellow and purple color scheme which is a bit gay but it really fits the character that I'm gonna be doing so I just fiddled around on Photoshop for uh, like probably a better part of a day or so and this is what I came up with looks nice and with some racing numbers 69 is gonna be my number so right now I'm heading over to the print shop to get the decals printed and then fit it on my bike and here I am let's get this over with so basically uh, what happened was when we were taking out the old decals and stripping everything you know to make way for the new prints that is going to be up on the bike itself turns out that the bike is so freaking old that the tank on the right side was rusted to hell and back it is so bad we couldn't do anything about it other than just do our best to sand it down and try and make good with it not only that the front fender it was in terrible condition I have no freaking idea how the thing was cracked right down the middle it is so bad that you couldn't use it anymore and I'd pay like 48 bucks for a brand new front fender uh, it was pretty much being held up by the old decals that it now fell apart when the old decals was taken off alright the bike's done uh, pretty much it took like three guys to get this whole bike done up nicely uh, a bit of a of issues over here but um, if you remember the what I told you about the rust on the tank yeah as you can see the rust does show through okay I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but the rust does show through the decals so it's not exactly a huge problem but it does leave a, a bit of a bad taste in my mouth but it can't be helped and over here yes the broken front fender got replaced because anyway I since there was a crack I could I couldn't possibly use that so I told the guys at you know the the decal shop since there was a KDM dealership right beside your store uh, why why don't you help me ask them if they have any fun fenders I could buy from them that could possibly fit so we discussed and we got one from the EXC 3 300 350 uh, uh, sorry and replaced it so I think it looks even better than the the old a service one that I had so far oh yeah there's a bit of an issue over here um, you see this white spots I didn't take into account that you know when you when I took off the old decals that there would be some um, you know problems cracks here because this is an old piece so I might have to find a way to deal with it I'm thinking of 
buying you know those uh, sparkly star stickers that teachers use to, to grade their students workbooks and hide all these uh, imperfections with them might work but I'll look into it later and yes my IU is also done up with my YouTube channel and my website do check it out and of course subscribe to me and new plus seats actually I wanted them to give me the cheapest possible but you know I the guy was like hey since you're gonna do a f the whole thing with us uh, and we will give you a discount for the same price as the cheapest leather we'll give you a bit better quality materials to choose from so I selected this one it's a black leather quite classy looking but with a nice a lizard skin texture to it might need to get rid of this later replace it with something more presentable but it's fine for now of course the tail back is going to be refitted uh, when I've got the time and I'll do the last few touch, up, touch ups on the theme over the tail back because that's going to be a permanent fixture anyway Right, so I went ahead and I bought like these four blind bags uh, that you know included these rubber straps uh, just to get the characters for 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 my bike. Uh, you know when I attach it on this for display uh, in the future. So the good thing is I was lucky with this one. You know, considering it was a blind bag, you wouldn't know what you get. But I managed to get Cian, which is the main character and the character I did this bike up after so yeah we'll see how this goes so that's about it remember to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time and in the meantime you can take a look at a montage video of you know the individual parts that I'm going to show you <laughs>